Welcome, everyone, and thank you for viewing the latest edition of FLW Southeast's Instrument Talk podcast. With us today is Chuck DeLulo of Siemens Measurement Intelligence. Chuck, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and background with instrumentation? Thanks for having me on. My name is Chuck DeLulo. I'm with the Siemens Measurement Intelligence Technical Consultants team. I'm part of the group that helps in the specification and application of our full family of instrumentation. Uh, this includes flow, level, pressure, temperature instruments, along with valve positioners and instruments for material conveyance, like belt scales and solids flow meters. Great. So Chuck's always been a big proponent of using point level sensors in conjunction with uh, continuous level transmitters. Can you tell us a little bit why you encourage that with your uh, customers, Chuck? Certainly. Um, when you look at um, continuous level, there's there's several technologies that come into play. There's your uh, traditional pressure, and you get into radar and ultrasonics, and they do a fine job of telling you exactly what is in the tank. But often you're dealing with applications where um, you have to be concerned over overflowing the tank. There could be hazardous chemicals or very expensive materials, or the tank running dry to preserve equipment like a pump from running dry. I have a 6P mantra I have used for many, many years in that point probes protect people, processes, and property. And I'm a firm believer in that it's good engineering practice that even though you have a continuous level transmitter in place, you always need to have a point level probe for the safety aspect of it, and as sustainability becomes more of a critical aspect where you want to protect uh, the plant and people surrounding the tank from being exposed to possible um, overspills of what could be potentially hazardous material. Okay, great. So what medias can point level sensors be used on? Well, the medias are both liquids and solids and even interface. There's several technologies in place, including uh, capacitance, tuning fork, and even uh, mechanical paddle type switches, which all serve a purpose on whether you're dealing with powders, solids, or liquids. And they all have a different technological aspect that we have to look at depending on the type of media that you're dealing with, whether it be a corrosive chemical, whether it be a light bulk density powder, or whether you're looking at finding where that interface is in an oil water emulsion. Okay. Okay. So in general, what industries or applications can you use point level sensors on? Oh, point level sensors are used in every industry. Uh, food and uh, Food and beverage, uh, where you're looking at possibly um, finding where you are uh, in a filling application where you want to make sure that you're not uh, filling, say, a, a hopper um, with a certain amount of material over a certain level uh, for recipe management. In chemical industries, it's part of every safety protocol. Uh, there are SIL safety integrated level switches, which are designed specifically to protect personnel from having to deal with uh, overspill of potentially problematic or hazardous chemicals. You'll find them in pharma, you'll find them even in mining, you'll find them in power plants, you'll find them in cement plants, you name it, because every plant has that need to protect vessels, hoppers, silos, bins from overflowing and causing a problem with both cleanup and possible impact on personnel. And keep in mind what Siemens, I mentioned earlier, in our portfolio of products, we have the continuous level instruments, pressure, radar, and ultrasonic. We have the point level probes, but we are the only instrument company that can talk to you about a value proposition that not only talks about the inventory in the tanks, which would be your level instruments, but also what the mass inside the tanks would, which would be these load cells. And that gives us a unique perspective when we're t helping you um, with a solution to manage what's in these vessels, whether you're just looking for an inventory to know what a specific level or volume is, or you need to know what the mass is for better recipe control. We're the only instrument company that offers that solutions portfolio. That's great, Chuck. Thank you. 
So, yeah, that was some great information. Um, obviously, it looks like using point level sensors in conjunction with continuous level transmitters does look like a best practice, both for process and automation safety. Um, for those of you viewing, if you'd like more information on Siemens point level sensors, please click on the 2D code below and that will take you directly to their website. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to you viewing our next edition of Instrument Talk podcast.